Some people say that it's like when you do forensics, you don't no longer contribute to life. But on the contrary, when you do forensics, you are contributing to those who are still alive with very important results and information. After we have estimated what would be the area that it's going to be excavated, then measurements are taken and that's where we start preparing the grid that is going to be used for the organized and systematic uh, digging of the grave. We have more than 200 bones. Some of them are big and very visible, but some of them are very small. And every little single piece of bone is going to be important, not only for the identification process from the technical point of view, but also for the family, so that when they receive the remains of their loved ones back, they receive it as complete as possible. By following these very detailed procedures that it's called the chain of custody, it's how those in charge of identifying the mortal remains can be sure that the body that they are giving to their relatives is the correct one. Everything is exposed carefully, without moving, without taking it out, so that the experts can see what is the position of the remains, the clothing, the personal belongings that are going to be extremely helpful for the identification, but also because they belong to the individual or to the, to the person that uh, this body once was. We also encourage uh, documenting the whole process by taking photographs or videos. Then we can move to the actual exhumation or taking out the remains from the grave and uh, carefully putting them in proper body bags with the proper labels and then filling out all the forms, the required forms, so that the body continues to the next step in the process, which is going to be the forensic examination. We put a lot of emphasis on being careful, not only because of technical requirements, but also because we promote that the management of human remains is, is done with dignity and uh, with respect. And also the families, when they are informed about the process, about where their relative was found, who found it, how he was taken out of the grave, etc., this will also help them accept better the unfortunate loss of their relatives. On the other hand, it's very sad, it's very emotional, because it's never a good thing to face dead or to face, in most of the cases, the cruelty of uh, one human being that is dead because of another human being.